This is the best thing I've ever had. Any lemon thing. Mm. Just what you wanted? Exactly what I wanted. Mm. So that's the verdict. Thunder. Lightning. Rain. Oh, I saw that at the corner of my eye. We are here in Cannes, France, and unfortunately, it's pouring rain. This morning we were looking forward to getting off the cruise ship and exploring this beautiful coastal area and like Rissa said, it's been pouring the entire morning and it took almost two hours from the time that like we went to a waiting area to get off the boat. We're enjoying it, making the most with our beautiful blue ponchos that were provided to us and we're gonna go explore the city. Cannes is a resort town here in the French Riviera and it's known for the Cannes Film Festival. Once we got off of our boat, we walked down a couple feet and immediately we come to a harbor where there are incredible yachts. It's really cool to see. You can tell this is a wealthy area. We're ready to go and explore amidst the rain. We're gonna go and start this adventure. One of the first things we noticed walking along the boulevard is there was this building that had like real estate postings and yacht rental postings. <laughs> yeah, if you have an extra 4,500 euros per day, you can rent a yacht. I think we're gonna have to pass on that one today. Cool. Say cheese! Woo! Wherever you're going, wherever you've been, I'll follow you around every bend. Follow you into the dark. Throw you here on the couch. I mean, it's like a croissant with like cream, I don't know, some sort of cream. Cream in it? Mm -hmm. Wow, I described that so well. <laughs> <laughs> so this baguette with cheese and ham of sorts, you know I'm going for the savory because that's usually what I like the most anyway. It's like baklava. Woo! Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I just like baklava. Mm. Oh yeah. I did not expect you to say like that. Like the flavor, like the layers? Yeah. Like texture wise? This is the best thing. I've ever had any lemon thing. It is so tart. I was expecting this to be like mild. No. This is so tart. You're gonna love this. <laughs> so you want me to do? <laughs> I'm not lying, huh? Mm. No. It's really good. I think that's like a tart lemon no. pie. Frozen it, lemonade. That's what it Frozen is. lemonade. Like it, it's good. Tanner, you try. I've hyped it up. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Whenever eating eclairs, I'm always worried that it's gonna be like a real pudding flavor inside. But this is like great tartness, and we probably were gonna get one of these before we go out to the boat again because this is nice. Mm -hmm. So up until this point, we've basically just been walking to find the nearest place to take shelter. Luckily, the first thing we saw was this incredible bakery. And as you guys saw, what we've tried has been chef's kiss. Seriously, incredible. The rain has not let up though, so that's a bit of a bummer. Luckily, again, we're under shelter, but it is coming down harder than ever. After this, there is a specific street that we are hoping to see. So hopefully the rain will allow us to do that. Normally when we go to travel, I don't have the best of signal. Tanner's phone typically does, but I don't. So thanks to Olify, I have data and I can pull up directions of where to go. Olify is an East End seller company with a market presence in over 100 countries around the world. They're focused on providing safe, reliable, and fast internet connection for travelers. It's simple to set up and provides 4G connection around the world. So how does international eSIM work? Well, first you need to check that your smartphone supports eSIM. After that, then you're gonna buy the eSIM to travel. The last thing is that you're going to install it with using a QR code. It's very simple. You can choose to activate it before you leave or right when you land in your destination. Because of Olafly, you don't have to spend time waiting in a long queue, trying to buy a SIM card, or you don't have to get home from your trip and notice that you have a large phone bill because you've been using Romy. In the end, you get what you paid for. Fast reliable internet connection that's good in so many places around the world. They have almost five stars in Trustpilot and they offer 24-7 service in case you're experiencing any issues. If you want to experience
experience Olify for yourself, then click the link in our description below. Use our coupon code rstory to tell to get a 5% discount to more than 130 destinations. Well, the rain has mostly lit up, so we're gonna make our way down the street now. This is what it's supposed to look like, guys. <laughs> We're getting rain all over the place. The camera lens is getting splotches from the rain, but we're making the most of it. Regardless of being wet and it raining a lot, there are surprisingly a lot of people who are out here still walking the streets. We've now made it to this church, which this is our friend's first time going inside of a European church. So we're excited to see their first impressions and it's always fun to see the different architecture. And it's Sunday today, so there's gonna be other people in there as well. Now, this is only our second time in France, but we have noticed that there are some differences between our experience in Paris and here. The first difference is that we're along the coast, of course, so there's like like banana palms and palm trees that are out here. But secondly, the pace of the city is a little bit slower here and it's kind of nice not being in such a bustle city. Lots of tans and yellow color buildings in this area. So we're excited to see a little bit more. Exactly what I wanted. Well, now we've made it back to the boat. It's been a lot of fun, honestly, wet, <laughs> but it was fun to try the different foods. We had an amazing ceviche that I have been just dying to get. I saw it on the menu and I was like, I know that I need to try this. So I did, and it lived up to its expectation. We also tried creme brulee, and our friends tried a different French pastry that was also very nice. So, really fun exploring the little that we did, the time that we had amidst the rain. We can only imagine that during some amazing sunny weather that this place would be incredible. We really wish we could have experienced the water in a different form, say going on the beach, going on a boat tour, even a catamaran tour. We looked into that and I guess it's a good thing we didn't book it. But here we're really close to the country Monaco, so that's also an excursion option. If you're here, you can look into that. That would have been really fun. However, when we looked into it, it was like a perfume museum and a couple things that still would have been cool, but we were just hoping to get onto the nature side of it. That is something that comes with cruises, of course. The days are set, and so it doesn't matter what the weather's like. Today happened to be a day that was rainy from the moment before we got on the boats until now it's still raining. So it just comes with it, and who knows, maybe because it is October and it's towards the end of like the warmer season, that maybe that's why tour prices can be cheaper and things because weather might not be as ideal. Yeah, it's definitely hard because we want to go during off season because the crowds are going to be fewer and oftentimes you get like more of an authentic experience, but we just got bad weather. <laughs> and there's still tons of crowds because yeah. we're on a cruise ship and there were a lot of people there too. So We were surprised how crowded it was amidst the rain, so kind of cool to see people not letting it stop them, but... Happy birthday. But when you travel, you just got to take these experiences as they come. I'm happy we were able to see a little bit of the French Riviera, although our experience is far different than what most people yes. think yes. when they think of the French Riviera. Yeah, thanks again for being here. Don't forget to keep following as we explore the rest of our cruise and have a great time. Woohoo!